Hi, this is Brother Kim. Once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. We are going to be here this testimony, and I pray to help you to know that we are in the end times, and deception is all around. So we have to pay heed, lest we are deceived by the current surge of what's called near-death experiences. There are genuine ones, and yes, still now there are a lot of fake ones which are demonic manipulation of people, causing them to come out to have outside or oh, how do you call it, out-of-body experiences, astral projecting them from their body and showing them all sort of stuff and they come back saying they've seen Jesus, they've seen heaven, they've seen hell, they've seen this and that. And so we are we are all to be careful. Hold on to the word of God. You cannot just put the Bible aside and just hold on to somebody you never knew from Adam and he just come to you and tell you, I had a near-death experience, I saw this and that. And you begin to follow them. And then you forsake the Bible to believe on somebody's near-death experience. Do you know what happened? Do you know what demon was manifesting through them and plating them? Do you know? You don't even know their background. And a lot of people are now being deceived. And people are coming up with, I died and saw this, I died and saw this, I had a vision of this and that. Deceiving many. Listen to this testimony. This lady almost was destroyed because of things like this. So take note of it, and it will help you. I came to room 13. I gave my life to Jesus, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this was last year. I already gave my life to Jesus before last year. I wasn't really, because where I came from, my background, you know, my parents, they are from Africa. They, they worship all these uh, Juju people, you know. They used to lie to us. So I gave my life. But, you know, I'll just be going to church, going back. I didn't really know much about the Jesus. What happened? I bumped into YouTube. Maybe it's God that wanted me to go there. You know, God can go and uh, make you to grow in his world in so many ways. Mm-hmm. But he can also use you to, to understand what is really going on. So it's just by the grace of God that he wanted me to bump into YouTube. I started listening to all those testimonies. It really grew my faith. You understand? Me? That's right. So I really, really became, I was so scared. I abandoned all the evil, evil things I was doing. And I watched Angelica, all those testimony of heaven and hell. You know, I really, really, really grew my faith. So last year I was praying, I used to fast. I thought, ah, you know, the rapture is really coming. So my own parents, and where I'm coming from, they are not really good. Because I started praying, I really get into Christianity, you know. Uh, the devil will not leave you like this. I'm an Africa family, you know. So they sent arrow. They sent arrow for, for me to die. You understand? Because mm-hmm. I'm disturbing the, the, the work of, of, of my own family for manifesting. You know, they, them, they like to reach at night. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, me now, I'm destroying the work. All these things I didn't know. So, I then thought, I, I started hearing, uh, uh, first of all, actually, I started speaking uh, language, uh, what do you call it, uh, is it a uh, tongue? Okay. I had uh, the, the tongue, speaking in tongue. Uh-huh. I started praying, and so I received speaking in tongue. That's how it started. I was speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. Then I thought it the the Holy Spirit proper tongue of God, but it wasn't. It was from the devil. You know, the devil likes to copy God. Mm-hmm. That's how it starts. Then they, after they started giving me messages in my mouth, I thought I really received the Holy Spirit. So after then, I didn't know it was the spirit of madness. The devil, they've already prepared it for my own family. They've already prepared it due to a lot of the testimony that I used to watch. He just used it all to work in it, you know. Mm-hmm. So when I used to watch uh, Angelica Zambrano, I used to watch Cat Care a mm-hmm. lot. You know, if you listen to Cat Care, I don't know if you've watched that a lot. Mm-hmm. She'll be saying that you know, when she goes to heaven and she comes back. She goes to heaven and she comes and she used to pray this time, this time. Mm-hmm. She will go, God will be coming to take her. You know, God comes in any way, you come and take her. She'll be going to heaven and coming back. 
So she's been visiting heaven so many times. She mm-hmm. wants people. People are dead. Some people have brown, yellow hair, you know, all this color hair. She'll be explaining all this. So it really interested me. I used to love that woman's video because how can she do it? And she'll be saying, hey, all I used to do is just pray. I will pray from this time to this time, you know, and I will sleep. And then that's how it started. God started taking me. And not knowing that that woman, she's really, really working with the devil. People that are believing all these things. And I thought, ah, if that's the case, me too, I want to, you know, visit. Uh, Me too, I want to have that experience. Maybe I need to be praying a lot. Ah, my brother, you know what happened? That mm. spirit that I thought it was the, 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 the tongue, you know, the God is talking inside me. Mm-hmm. It started making me to be doing all these dirty things, man, manifestation. I started talking. I couldn't sleep at night. I became mad. I became mad. I won't sleep. I'm waiting. That spirit started talking to me. You too. I'm going to be using you. When you sleep, I'll be coming to take you. I'm going to take you to heaven. And, and hell, I'm going to visit you. It's talking in my mouth. My mm-hmm. partner said, Nanu, because my name is Nanu, said, what is wrong with you? I said, ah, please, I've already received the Spirit of God, and God, uh, Jesus is going to be taking me to heaven and hell, you know, and I'm also going to be visiting heaven, because I copied what that woman was doing, mm-hmm. praying, praying, but not knowing that I've received the devil already himself, uh, because I love that uh, video, and I used to watch it. So, what happened, my brother? That then that spirit, after I started, I won't be sleeping anymore. I won't be sleeping. I won't look after my family anymore. I started talking, to, talking, talking to myself. I was already going mad. God just loves me so much. Mm. And then, that spirit then started talking to me that I need to, how the only way he can come and take me, that I need to close my nose, you understand? Mm-hmm. I need to a nose, a hair, like to suffocate. You know when you suffocate to die? He okay. said, don't worry, you come back. Because mm. all these things, I thought it was real. Because I watched also Angelica's video. When Angelica was visiting heaven, I don't know if you've seen that part. When she was moving like, you know, somebody is crying. Do you remember? I remember that part, yeah. Yeah, and then, ah, so that came to my mind. I didn't know that the devil already manipulated my spirit. So all that came to my mind. I said, ah, that, that's what's going to happen to me as well, you know. And if I came and Angelica was watching, you know, when, when she was visiting heaven and the, the preacher, the pastor was saying this and that, ah, that's also going to happen to me. So I wasn't even thinking that if I close my, my nose and my mouth, that I would die, that that is it. I was just thinking about, ah, it's a lie. You know, what happened to Angelica? we can see, I will come back, I just want to visit heaven and hell. My brother, I did that in my kitchen, I took my breath away very, very hard, I lay on the floor, God can hear me when I'm telling you this, because of all this testimony I used to watch, people really need to be careful, and all, some of these things came from my family, you know, they had access because mm-hmm. of my parents, also had access because of the things that I used to watch, you see. So I fell and my breath was gone. I can see pictures. I couldn't breathe. My, I, all I know that uh, life is real. When you die, I knew that my breath was gone. But I knew that I was alive. I didn't come out of my body. But I can see, like, I just saw some pictures. My breath was totally gone. But what, all of a- um, Please watch part two for the continuation. God bless you.